Hi everyone, MMA Android Guy here, and for today's technique, I am giving you a consumer review of the Galaxy Note 7. I am calling it the consumer review because I am not an expert, so I can give you only my perspective as a consumer. So with that being said, uh, let's get started. So one of my favorite things, one of my favorite features coming out the box with this device is the fact that it comes with um, packed with 64 gigs right out the box a lot of times you know depending what you can afford you usually get the base uh, storage which sometimes it could be 16 it could be 32 depending on the phone this one out the box is 64 gigs which is uh, pretty damn awesome 64 gigs right out the box um, and also it can also go up to about 256 gigs of uh, with SD card Which is also another thing that I love about this phone that it, they actually brought back the SD feature The next thing I got to say that I love about this phone is Just look at this thing Now the note series is now a curved series And to add with the curved series you get the edge functions from an edge screen which I love because you have all your shortcuts you can text your you know your friends right away um, I really love this feature I do this all the time with my friends I like to send the silly little icons or the little emojis we do this to each other like all the time I know it's it's silly but it's pretty funny at the same time and I'm gonna send it to him. He might write me back, he might not, depending on if he's busy or not. But that's one other feature that I really love about this, that this phone is a hybrid phone. It's a Note, it's also an Edge, only one. And you don't even have to root it, you don't even have to cut, um, put a custom ROM to make it a hybrid phone. It comes as a hybrid phone. And if you've seen some of my earlier videos, I actually converted the Note 3 into be a Note 5 uh, S7 Edge, which is a hybrid phone. Next, let's talk about the always on display. I love the, uh, there's another feature that I love. Um, you get all your notifications on the bottom, which is nice. It's, an, it's a nice, cool feature. And let's say you're playing music, which I actually have Pandora going on right now. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys right there. I have Pandora going on right now. So if you wanted to pause the music and play it, you can actually do it right from the lock screen, which is a really nice, nice feature right there. Or let's say you have you get an, a notification, uh, Telegram or Instagram or whatever it is. You could double tap on the screen and takes you right to the app to where you can actually reply to the notification or check your email, whatever the case may be, whatever notica notification it is that you're receiving at that moment. Another thing that you also get on the always on display is what you can't really see right now. Some, uh, I don't know why, but you can also add a picture on here. Um, it's actually a picture of my girlfriend. You can't really see her. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. I don't know why but just make sure you have a photo that's bright and illuminated not so much as uh, a dark picture this picture actually is bright I don't know why I don't know what I have to do to make it uh, to be bright so you can see it right now but it works um, another thing that I do like too, and this being an edge and a note is the S Pen and some of the S Pen features a lot of them being the same, some being different. Um, one of the different ones that I do like is that you can actually create a GIF, a whatever, however you want to pronounce it. I'm gonna call it a GIF. So I like to uh, send funny things to my friends. So it's cool that I can actually take a GIF of something funny that I like and send it to my friends. Like for instance. Uh, Let's try this right here, smart select. You choose animation, GIF. And just like that, 
you, you wait for the scene that you want wait for the seconds you want you just hit the record button and it records the amount of seconds uh, it goes up to about 15 seconds of a gif and that's about it another cool feature that i do love also is that you can actually change the sound settings almost kind of like a DAC but not that great hold on where is it sounds and then you go with sound effects okay so right here you can actually change to, to the amount of bass that you want change your vocals um, add surround tube amp pro you know change change the sound right here that I think is another cool feature that I really like is you can adjust the sound quality um, I love bass so I usually add more bass and if you understand um, the highs and the lows well which I don't really do but if you do you can actually change this right here another cool cool feature about this phone this phone also has a, um, a iris sensor which I don't really like I don't really use it I don't even use fingerprints let alone iris um, which is like an eye scanner and um, what I don't like about it is just the fact that you actually have to hit the button swipe up and then you look into the screen then it opens like I wish you could just like grab it opens that's it you know but there's a few extra steps I really don't care too much about it so I'm not even really gonna use it I'll talk about it another thing that I love about this thing though also is the photos you take you can take really 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 nice photos with this phone especially low light photos this thing is great for that and videos as well but I did find at one point that um, when I was rec actually recording a video it did freeze on me which um, I really feel it should not freeze on me especially being the price of the phone and the fact that this is a flagship phone it really shouldn't be freezing you really shouldn't have that many issues but you have to understand something this is a new phone you gotta treat it as if like it's a new computer or a new operating system like say uh i don't know windows 7 when windows 7 f first came out it had a lot of bugs so what happens is you get a lot of updates to fix the bugs so the same thing here another thing that i like also is that this thing is water resistance um it could be submerged into water not like deep deep water but it could be submerged into water if you saw my last video you saw that i dumped it in, into a sink full of water which was pretty cool and with no issues at all this phone also gets a lot of fingerprints and uh and it can be a little bit slippery so i would suggest that you do slap on a case i have a few cases and everything um, i have a case here by caseology so i suggest that you usually have a case on so that way you prevent yourself from having to use the warranty definitely keep a case on this and that's basically it oh there it is finally you can actually see the photo that i have here and that is pretty much it um i gave you as much as i can as of my pros and my cons that i do like and i don't like about this phone hope i helped you guys out by like giving you my opinion on whether or not you decide or not to buy this phone thank you guys for watching if you like this video please hit the like button on the bottom subscribe to my page and as always, adios.